Hello! Isang mapag napakaganda at mapagpalang araw po sa bawat isa, sa lahat po ng nanonood at nakikinig. Pagpalain po tayo ng Panginoon. To open this day, let us pray. Ama naming makapangyarihan sa lahat, humihingi po kami ng tawad kung anuman ang nagawa naming di kalugod-lugod sa iyo, Ama. Salamat po sa biyaya mo araw-araw. Ang pagtugon sa aming panghangainangan at pagprotect mo po sa amin araw-araw. Dinudulog po namin ang devotion ngayon. Ang iyong Santo Espiritu ang manguna sa bawat isa. Ang iyong salita ang aming lakas araw-araw. Ito po ang aming hinihiling sa makapangyarihang pangalan ng aming Yesu Diyos. Amen. Naranasan nyo ba yung nawalan pero dumating ang blessing ng Panginoon? O kaya yung time na palaging um, hindi natutuloy na mga bagay na pwedeng mak makasama sa atin? Ako po naranasan ko po ang incredible na protection at provision ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Hindi ko pa nakita sa buong buhay ko ngayon uh, na ang pamilya ko po ay na hindi kumain o kaya yung hindi po ako nakapagbayad ng bills, ng tupig, mga pagkain araw-araw. Ang Panginoong Diyos po ang makapangyarihang kamay po ang nagpro-provide sa lahat ng mga ito. At may mga times din na ako'y nadapan, literally nadadapa sa daan kasi madulas yung daan o kaya yung sleeper ko. Pero hindi pa ako, every time na madapa ako, nagpapasalamat ako sa Panginoon at andyan yung mga angels niya na nag-protect sa akin. Naalala ko yung salita niya na the angel, he will send the angels to protect us. So, yun po. Many times dito po sa pag-uwi ko sa apartment na to, many times po ako talagang nadataba. Pero nakita ko ng kapangyarihan ng Diyos na ay, ang daming bato dyan eh. So, I saw the Lord's great protection. Yung incredible protection niya po sa akin. Kayo po mga kapatid, Naranasan nyo ba, ba ang incredible provision at protection ng ating Panginoon? So, basahin natin sa Philippians 4.19. Sabi dito, And my God will meet all your needs according to His gracious riches in Christ Jesus. Ito po ay sinabi ni Apostle Paul sa mga mananampalataya sa Philippi. Yung mga mananampalataya po sa Philippi, ay sila po ay tumutulong kay Paul sa financial needs, material needs niya. So, nagpapasalamat po si Paul sa kanila at nasabi niya itong word na, My God will supply all your needs according to His riches in Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, ang provision ng Diyos sa, at, sa ating pangangailangan ay di kailanman napapako. Tandaan po natin, ang pangangailangan po natin ang provide ng Panginoon, hindi po yung gusto natin. Kahit sa mga mananampalataya sa Philippi, kahit walang-wala sila, they still send help to Apostle Paul with all their hearts. So mga kapatid, magtiwala lang po tayo sa Panginoon na kaya niyang i-provide ang ating pangangailangan araw-araw. Kaya nga sabi niya sa Matthew, do not worry. The, the thing that you wear, the clothes that you wear, the, the food that you eat. Look at the birds. They don't sow, but the Heavenly Father provide them for food. So, ganun po mga kapatid, hindi po tayo mag-worry araw-araw sa ating pangangailangan. Kasi ang Diyos, ng at, 
ang ating Diyos na makapangyarihan ay kaya niya pong i-provide ang mga to. Tandaan po natin, our needs po ang kaya i-provide ng Panginoon, hindi po yung ating wants. Sabi ni David sa Psalm 37:25, I was young and now I'm old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. And this is absolutely true. Ngayong umaga, samahan nyo kaming ipanalangin ang ating mga missionaries around the globe, ang kanilang provision or protection and safety, at mga churches all around the globe din. So, kasama po sa um, programa ng Church Mahil Christian Community, ang fasting. So, um, fasting na to, ano, ipanalangin. ang mga missionaries natin, ang pa kanilang pangangailangan at ang mga churches. So, samahan niyo po kami sa panalangin. So, manalangin po tayo. Ama naming makapangyarihan sa lahat, humihingi po kami ng tao. Kung may times na kami po ay nag sa pag-provide mo ng aming pangangailangan. Lord, You are our God that provides, our God that protects and keeping us safe daily. Our Jehovah Jireh, we give you praise and the glory are yours forever and ever. We come to you today to pray for our missionaries and churches around the globe. We lift up to you our missionaries. We ask for your protection over them. They will be sharing the gospel with strangers. Please cover each person with your hedge of protection. Guide them through each moment, and if fear tries to creep in their thoughts, remind them of your love. Please keep them calm in every area and bring them home safely. Father, some missionaries will leave their families for a time to travel and share your words and help others learn about you. Please protect their families of these missionaries, local or international. Give them peace and comfort, knowing you are with their loved ones. Give them courage and strong faith as they wait for their family member to return home. We pray also, Lord, for the safety of every church. Protect them, uh, protect them, protect us against illness, injury, and danger. Yes, so oh God. Gracious Father, we pray on behalf of our missionaries for your provision upon their needs daily. They are dependent upon the offerings and support of others. Lord, Burden the hearts of more people to support their work. You would go beyond those that know them. Open the hearts of people they don't know and start new ministry partnerships. Please open storehouses of heaven and pour financial blessings over them. O oh Lord, mighty in power, We pray for your provision upon the needs of every church and wisdom to manage our resources. If managing money were simple, everyone would be rich. We, we know that with much money often comes much folly. Greed takes people hostage and clouds their minds. Thus, Keep us free from greedy temptation of more money. Help us to be good and faithful steward, helping to use it for the sake of your kingdom, which has no end. Yes, Lord, you have created us in your image. Let your gifts abundantly fill our cup until it overflows. Bless us with riches of righteousness and prosperity of faith, so that our treasure 
will be stored up in heaven. We will always depend on your incredible provision. Oh God, on our daily needs, daily needs. This we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.